welcome back to another episode of a home workout. Yeah. Now, the idea today is to do three different parts. The second part actually is going to be a new movement, very, very challenging. And the first part is going to warm up the legs and the shoulders, right? Now, what we're going to do, and Sana is going to start demoing the movements for you guys, is do four different movements, switching between legs, shoulders, legs, shoulders. Let's have a look at movement number one. The alternating back step lunge. Anchor the front foot. Make sure the heels and toes are properly pushed into the floor. The knee is right on top of the ankle. Reach back with the other leg, gently touching the floor while staying upright. Very nice, Sana. Now let's say Sana is having trouble with the knees, having some kind of injury going on here. In that case, she's going to woodpecker her way through here, which is like a, like a deadly variation on one leg. It's a balancing act. It's a tough one to do. If you, if you feel and the balance is off a bit, it doesn't matter. Just continue and it'll get better round after round. I will promise you that. I will actually guarantee that for you guys. All right, let's rest here. Um, let's grab the bottle, Sonna, because you guys do need a set of bottles. Maybe some very light dumbbells or plates are also fine here. You're going to stand hands right in front of the legs. Nice squeeze belly and raise up the arms at the same time to where approximately shoulder height here with the front raises. Maybe over eye height would be okay as well, as long as you keep that raise motion going. Nice front raises. If you have an injury and you feel this in the bicep or the front of your delt, you can also do a side raise here instead of the front raise. If this feels more comfortable, and I'm talking about comfortable in a range of pain, then you can substitute the movement for the other variation of the raise. Now let's have a look at the third movement in this warm-up, and we call that a speed skater. Now, Sanna's going to go full Sven Kramer or Ilko Barkemans on this one. She's going to sit back and hinge here. She's going to have that knee bend. She's going to step out to the side. She's going to swab that floor. Boom, here she goes. She's skating like she's never done this before. That looks perfect. That's good. This looks like a fast 500 meter there on the ice skate. That's good. Now, if you have an injury going on and you're not able to do this, you're going to do uh, a toy soldier. And when you do a toy soldier, I want you to play the song Toll Soldiers by Eminem, which we cannot put in the background because of copyright. But that is all good. Left, right, left, on a part. Left, right, left, we all go down like a toy soldier. Our fourth movement is going to be with the bottles again. It's going to be a bend over rear delt raise. Let's have a look at that. Son is going to have slight knee bend, sit back, boom, upper body parallel to the floor and start moving those arms as far away from the body as possible and then reach up until they reach about shoulder height so they're in line with the upper body. Nice way of hitting the back of the shoulders. They call that the rear delt muscles properly. And when you squeeze the back, you even get some upper back action in there as well. Okay, we showed you four movements, and now it's time to combine those in a six minutes quality MRAP. The word quality here stands for not you pushing the pace, but you focusing purely on the quality of the movement for every repetition that you do. Okay, now, Sun is going to do a round with you guys. We're going to start off with the, what was it? I think it was the backstab lunge for eight reps. Then we do the bottle front raise for 12. We do the speed skater for eight, and then the rear delt raise for 12. So shoulder for 12, legs for eight. Start in 10 seconds with the back step lunge. And it is pouring in here, as in out here. And let's go. So Sun is doing eight reps here, which means four reps per leg if you're one of the people that counts that way. Oh, and the smell of rain is actually very nice when you're working out inside. So let's, let's be honest here. That was a quick eight reps. She's going to stand, start a front raises. Now, the idea that Sonny is doing here is she's holding her, she's actually keeping her shoulders low while bringing the arms up, which is very nice. Good, good, good. Arms nice and long. Palms are facing down. Play around with the height of the race as long as you can squeeze the belly. And now we're going to go into that speed skater. Really make sure you're hinged properly so your chest is a bit more towards the floor. The lower you are, the more pressure in the legs, the more you can push away on the ice. There you go. That's eight reps. I look like I actually know what I'm saying, but I have no clue because I'm not really good at ice skating. Fourth movement is the rear delt raise. Here you go, Kev. Let's have a look at that one. 12 reps of the rear delt raise going on. And that takes approximately, I think it's going to be a little over a minute. So with six minutes in total, I want you guys to aim for doing five rounds of this. And if you're in that fifth round and the clock says stop, 
you're actually going to continue and finish the fifth round because you're in your living room doing a workout. I just want you to go for quality, okay? See you guys back in a second. Bye. All right, so for the second part, you're going to need two arms or four arms, and you also need a set of bottles to come along with it. Let's get ready and let's have a look at the Hercules wall sit. So you're going to have a set of bottles. You're going to go into your wall sit first on it. So give me the perfect wall sit, which is your regular squatting stance. I need your hips to be in line with the knee. Now from that position, can you go a little bit lower for me? Thank you. From that position, it's going to be arms to the side, perpendicular to the body. Now this is going to be our holding position. And the idea is, Ladies and gentlemen, to have a phone or a stopwatch ready and to accumulate five minutes. That can be five sets of one minute or an all out set of two and a half minutes. And then you still have to fill the other two and a half. So don't put on a five minute timer right away, but try to get five minutes all together. This is very hard on the legs. It's very hard on the shoulder and it's very hard on the sole. We hit our general warm up. We were Hercules sitting against a wall for five full minutes. Ouch, that was tough. And now we're going to go full blown conditioning. We're going to use a very famous CrossFit format, which is going to be rounds of minutes. And in every minute, you're going to do a certain movement. Now, what we will do is we're going to take some time to go through all four movements and show you guys lots and lots of reps there. Zooming in on the first movement, it's going to be a classic burpee. Now Sonne is going to show you guys the regular classic burpee for a couple of reps. I don't want her to go fast. I just want her to go controlled and flow this one through. Since it's the first movement after the minute of rest, it's going to be the one that allows you to do a lot of reps, but also the one that can make it way harder in the movements right after. Now Sonne is doing the jump, jump burpee. So jumping back and jumping up. She can also opt to do stepping burpees. I'm all game with that. Can you step for me? Good. This is still considered the burpee because she's flat on the floor in the beginning. And she is actually extending her hips on the top. It's way better than people did in the challenge. That's good. Now, what we're going to look for now, you can rest here, Sonne. She did a lot of burpees for you guys to show you the flow. It doesn't have to be fast. When you go in this space, you probably still hit about 12 to 15 reps per minute, which is a great amount of burpees to do. Now, let's have a look at injury options for people that cannot jump at all. So if you cannot jump at all, you will step the burpee, but you will cut out the clap in the end. So you step out, you step up, you just stand. Boom. Whoa, there we go. Stepping burpees, right? Now you can stay there, Sonne, and now we show you the option for a shoulder injury, or let's call it a no pressing injury, where you just do a kickback, which you can jump, of course. Good. Now if everything is completely messed up, you can step your kickback and don't clap. And you see, you can still join our class. Isn't it that good? Now that is the first movement, is the burpee. The second movement that we have in this interval portion will be what? It'll be a bottle thruster. So grab your bottles. And if you have dumbbells or maybe even a barbell or kettlebells or whatever you have, you can grab something that's loaded. One each hand. And we're going to hammer thrusters here. Now, it's going to be on the shoulder, squatting stance, sit nice and upright into a deep squat. Come up, thrust to overhead. Boom, here we go. Nice bottle thrusters using lag and hip drive to get the bottles overhead. Finish strong with the shoulders. Now, doing this for a minute, right, important is to not go very fast, but to get into a rhythm that allows you to just keep going at a nice and consistent speed, which is what Sun is doing right now. Now, what she's going to do next is show you injury options. Injury option number one is for people that cannot squat due to a knee injury. What they're going to do is a hand clean and press. So, bottles go low, go to approximately the knee, press, boom. We chose to do this variation because it's a bigger range of motion than just doing an overhead press and more range of motion kind of simulates the thruster a bit more. And we can also have the injury option for people that not, cannot go overhead with a bottle. In that case, they will do hang, squat, cleans. So they go low with the bottles, they extend up, they pull themselves down into a full squat and stand it up on the way. Very nice cleans. Now, that is the intro for just looking at the thrusters with the bottle. Our third movement, it will be a mountain climber. And in that mountain climber variation, we're not going to do the regular one where the elbow goes, where the knee goes to the elbow, but we're going to do the elbow going to the 
opposite knee, and then the other way around. If you guys are still with me, just look at Sonnen because she'll demo it. That was the weirdest explanation ever, but still. Sonnen, just start slow and up the speed whenever you feel good to do. Look at that, hips in line with the shoulder, and now she's gonna go for that twisting mountain climber. Very nicely done. Now, since it's a minute, you will have to pick a pace that really helps you to get going for a full minute. You can rest here, Sonnen. Now, scaling-wise, even injury-wise, like I said, I just want you to go slow on the mountain climber if you feel it's a heavy one to do for you, okay? Now, our fourth movement will be the frog jump, and this is going to be rough to do for a minute. So, Shana's only going to do four reps here of the, of the frog jump. Starting in a plank, it's going to be jump into a squat bottom, boom, get back into the plank. Nice how she go into the rhythm right away. Boom, and you can rest here, Sana, that's good. Now, we do want to show you one injury option for the frog jump, and that is what to do if you cannot do the jumping action. And actually, I think this one is harder because it's going to be the walking frog. So let's start in the plank. Let's just like a walking groin. You walk yourself to a squat bottom, get back, walk back. Lots of movement here. Here we go. Nice little injury option for the frog jump if you cannot jump or if the apartment building you're living in is not allowing you so the neighbors to jump. So now it is time for you to actually perform the workout that we just showed you, as in we showed you all the movements. So how does this workout flow? You're gonna have to set a timer for three rounds and every round is gonna have five different minutes. So I would set a 15 minute interval timer, right? Now what's gonna happen here is this, in minute number one, you're gonna do an MRAP of burpees, as many burpees as possible. And then on the beep, for the second minute, you switch, and you're gonna do all those thrusters, one minute straight. The third minute will be the mountain climber, where you're going to twist with the body when you do the mountain climbers. Going into the fourth minute, we're going to do those frog jumps, staying very, very low. The idea is to get as many reps done in a minute as you can possibly can. And then remember, the fifth minute is always a complete rest minute. What you might have to do is adjust the pace of the movement, so how fast you perform a repetition, basically, right? To be able to survive the full minute. Now, good luck with this one, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.